Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm giving you part 5 of this interior design series, and for some reason... Oh no, it's not lagging. Okay, um, yeah, so, in, uh, in this part we're doing some of the materials, we can't do all of them because it takes ages. Uh, so the ones that we are going to do is all the stuff in the actual room, which we need to call room. Okay, uh, so... Uh, we've got, we've already set up some placeholder materials, we've got, uh, oh, uh, you only need to, with the grey wall in the window frame, just tick use nodes, like that, and that way it will switch it to a cycles material. Okay, so if we look at the rendered result, just here in the viewport, and select render, you can see that all we're getting is lots of greyness and lots of shadows. Okay, and oh, oh, uh, yeah, the grey wall at the back is looking grey already because of course I uh, did that okay so just change all these values here to 0.8 like that apparently this one doesn't want to change 0.8 okay and same with the grey wall okay so now if we were to look at it it would just be lots of greyness and some shadows which isn't really what we want so um yeah, that's why we make materials. Um, so first of all, we need to get the lighting sorted out, because otherwise uh, we won't really be able to get the materials right, and when we think we've got them right, and we get the lighting done, it will just look nasty. So we need to do, you know, the, the lighting. Okay, so the way we do this is, most people think that in cycles, all the lighting has to be done with an object, but you can still use lamps. So if we... Uh, for example, set this to uh, the viewport to black, so that all we will see is just pure blackness everywhere. Um, if we were to add in a sun lamp and bring this outside, have it rotated into the building, and look at this, it will take a while to render it up a bit, but uh, you can see we now have some light. But you know, you can't really see any harsh shadows where these window dividers should be hitting the floor. But you can see we've got some settings here. So if we set the size to 0 0.05, that will just make the shadows a lot harsher. And uh, we should be able to start seeing some better results. And I think that might still be a bit too soft. But um, it's actually looking quite nice. So uh, we can keep it like that. But I think it's sort of hitting this back wall a bit too much. We need to sort of keep it where there's, uh, you know... So then again, that does look okay. Uh, but let's just uh, rotate this a bit more down, like that. Or a bit more vertical. Okay, so that should... Uh, we just now uh, just get it like that, okay? The location doesn't matter with sun lamps, just the rotation. Okay, so, uh, so if we look at this rendered now... And maybe decrease the size a bit further to a uh, 0.01. Yeah, there we go. You can see where all the shadows are, uh, you know, doing their stuff on the floor. Uh, now I had some of the light hitting this uh, this back wall here, not the one on the left, which I called the back wall earlier. I mean this wall at the back here. So. Uh, we can rotate the sun towards that wall a bit, and we should be able to get some interesting lighting. Okay, there you go. Um, oh, but it's been a bit too much rotated, so if we want to just easily stop that, we can uh, get this, um, this wall here, and we can just extrude that out, like that, so that uh, we're not going to get anything too weird. Okay, and you can now see how uh, that's working. Hmm. Okay, I might just rotate the lighting a bit more, just so that more of the floor is covered. And I don't want to spend too much time lighting, although it's important. Okay, that's, um, yeah, you, that's looking okay. So, okay, let's get into the materials. Now, we're not actually going to have blackness outside. Um, that was just there to uh, prove a point about how we can use lamps to light things up. 
So we're going to make that completely white, and if we tick use nodes as well, then, uh, well, I, I don't know what that, it will just uh, make things a bit easier for us. Okay. So now you can see we've got much brighter room. Um, okay, so now let's get on with the materials, because I've been talking about that for ages, but we haven't actually got round to it. So if we look at the image, you can see that the floor's got this nice wooden material, this wall here has got this brick material and then this bit up here has got this grey wallpaper material so that's three things we need to cover in this one tutorial although I might have to divide it up later okay so let's uh, come out of this rendering thing here to speed things up we may as well set this to the GPU compute although uh, uh, when I actually tried to render it properly the, my graphics card just crashed which isn't good, so uh, I had to render this on my processor, which means I could only really get, uh, I think, it was 600 samples in the end uh, before I got bored. And you can see that it didn't really, uh, it's still quite grainy. Oh, that's only a test render. Uh, there we go, that's what I'm looking at. It's still a bit grainy in certain areas. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So, the first thing I'm going to do is the floor and uh, probably best we hide all these walls where we just have the floor and it's quite simple to make we're just going to go into the UV image editor open up a... we go to textures uh, I've got, I've got uh, the wooden texture from cgtextures.com just going to use this one okay and if we press A and then press U and choose uh, project from view. Now press Alt Z. Oh, hang on, yeah, it's the cycles. In the floor, just make sure that the image texture, just select that, and then select this wooden thing. Okay. And now, if we go into edit mode, when we scale this up, you can see the wooden texture scaled up. Now, these planks are going horizontally. I want them to go vertically, so I'm just going to rotate this around by 90 degrees and scale them up. Let's see what looks good. I think that looks okay. Um, yep. Okay, so now when we look at this rendered, you'll be able to see that we've got this wooden floor. But it's not really looking too nice, it looks dry, well, well it should be dry, otherwise it would just be slippy, but it looks very bland just sitting there in the scene. So if, that's where the node editor comes in. So we're going to open up the node editor, and you can already see it's loaded up the relevant nodes uh, for the just the image to project on the floor and uh, oh uh, has not loaded in uh, the vector so on the vector just tick UV it's already got that but just to make sure it doesn't change randomly we're gonna make sure it has UV again and let's just come out of this rendered view it's slowing everything down um, okay so we're gonna want some gloss on the floor so um, yeah uh, that just makes it a bit more shiny and it looks a lot better. So we're going to press Shift A and add in a shader. This is going to be a glossy shader. And um, yep, yeah, uh, that's basically uh, all we need for now. Now, if we add in a mix shader, not a mix node under color, just we want under shader. We want a mix shader like that. Put that in there and put the gloss into the bottom. Okay. Now, if we uh, take a look we'll see that uh, the floor is looking uh, quite wet actually so it's just being cleaned because it's a bit too glossy and that's not really what we want so let me just get it looking uh, okay again alright yeah you can see it's a bit too glossy now we can lower the amount of gloss by uh, changing this factor value here in the mix shader and if we just lower this to uh, point 0.2 or something you can see that uh, it's less glossy and it just looks nice but it's not looking realistic because what would happen is uh, the brightness of the floor would affect how much gloss is there so we're gonna just you know change that um, so that it looks a bit more realistic so in the node editor uh, what we're going to do is 
with the uh, if we just bring the glossy down here they're gonna add in a converter color ramp like that just bring that in and put in the color of the image texture into the color of the color ramp and put the output down into the mix shader so now if we were to look at this you'll see some bits aren't glossy at all while others are just completely reflective oh well um, they won't be completely reflective because there's no white on this texture but things are looking quite shiny in areas and other areas aren't looking too shiny uh, if you get what I mean so um, yeah the way we sort of limit this stuff is we don't want anything to be completely unshiny so we're gonna set this to like a just a dark grey and that'll mean it's uh, it's not too shiny but it will be a bit shiny and we don't everything to just be really reflective so we're going to lower that down to be like a mid grey and if we want to have a bit more of a contrast between these two we can just bring them a bit closer together and now uh, what we should get is a much nicer looking floor okay so it, it's very subtle but the reflection is still there and it's looking good okay um, and that's that you could add a bump map but this is uh, fine wood so it's been uh, sanded down or something like that and all very nicely put together so that there is no well there are no bumps you know you could uh, you know take off your socks so uh, take off your shoes so you're just in your socks and you could uh, slide around the floor and you uh, just with your socks on if that makes sense so there are no bumps so don't bother with a bump map okay so now uh whoa what did I do there? Um yeah, so now we're just gonna uh make this brick material. So now we can unhide this. And this brick material is quite simple. You're just gonna select uh all of the loops or uh, all of the faces of the brick wall like that and then uh, go to edge select mode and just select all the ones going down the middle so you can do that by going to front view and press B and then hold the middle mouse button and then uh, just select all of that stuff so now we just have these edges at the top and bottom of the uh, the brick area of the wall now it needs a seam somewhere to tell it where to stop now if it's somewhere that's in the view of the camera you're going to see this obvious seam and that's not going to look good so just select this one at the end here where the camera is not going to be looking. Now if we press Ctrl E and choose Mark Seam. And then if we select the brick wall again and press U and choose Unwrap. Or maybe not Unwrap, how about uh, Smart UV uh, Project? Nope. Uh, what's, what's that other thing? Follow active quads? Nope. Okay, yeah, just unwrap it normally like that. And that should be looking good, maybe have another seam just here um, oh yeah the reason why it's looking weird is because we scaled this up if you just press ctrl A and choose scale and now unwrap it getting rid of this seam and unwrap this okay it looks the same but shouldn't I don't know what's happening here but okay uh, let's just work with this see how it will work out if we load up the brick texture uh, I don't know where I I got this from CT textures again but I don't know where I put it oh, okay somewhere here I used uh, this one brick small old I think yeah I think I use this one yeah um, and if we load this up into this thing here so image texture and then these bricks. Okay, yeah, there's some seams all over the place, but uh, we should be able to. And ah, oh, maybe that would do something. Aha. Okay. Oh, I know what it is. Because we did it as an array modifier, um, it it's sort of like you know if we select uh, this vertice, it's all in these different chunks. So uh, that that's explains it a lot now so if we just press T and then choose remove doubles there you go now we can unwrap it normally there we go you can, you'll now see you've got this strip here of bricks and you can see the wall is like one brick so we're just gonna 
rotate it round so that the texture is the right way up. And we're going to keep so the bricks are quite small, like that. Maybe even smaller. Okay. And make sure that where the bricks end is sort of where the top is or something like that should look good. Okay. And that is the brick wall. It's not completed though. We still need to do some stuff down here. Uh, it's not much though. We're just going to add in a bump map, which is quite simple. We're just going to add in a mix node, not the mix shader. This time it is just a mix node. Put the color into the bottom, and also we're going to add in an input. Make sure it's texture coordinate, and then put in the UV into this vector here, because uh, otherwise it will just look weird. Uh, it will make sure we've got UV and everything. Okay, so we're going to set this to multiply. Make sure this is completely white, and then. Uh, we're going to lower this down to 0.1 like that and then put this into the displacement okay and now when we look at this rendered you should be able to see we've got bricks and they've been given a bump map alright so you can take a look at that that's looking okay um, but now we need to add in the grey wall which is very simple it is just a grey colour that might be a bit too dark though um, just a bit brighter ok so that's not looking too bad uh, when we get some other objects with their materials you should be able to see this room uh, start looking very nice oh and another thing I forgot to change the colour of the sun uh, let's set the strength to about 5 5, like that and then set the colour to a uh, orangey yellow colour but very faint, don't go way over here just a very faint orangey yellow colour and now the room should look a lot better because it's uh, yeah, there you go uh, we've got a bit more colour into the room it's a bit more brighter or oh, it's brighter than it was ok, and that's the materials uh, well, that's some of the materials done. Okay, so... Oh, we still haven't done the window frame. This is just going to be completely black. You could have it as a holdout material, but then it just looks fake. And even that's looking a bit fake, so let's just... Um, make it like a dark grey. Very dark grey like that. Okay. And that way, uh, it should be able to get some light and bounce it around a bit. Yeah, it's looking a bit strange, but oh well. Okay, so that's the first materials done. In the next part, we're going to be carrying on, probably just uh, adding the materials for the rest of the scene. Uh, so thanks for watching this part. Uh, comment, to rate, subscribe. Visit my uh, Twitter, and uh, or follow me on Twitter. Subscribe, give this video a like. I think we already said all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, and goodbye.